The Nets lost in four games, Kevin Durant has officially been swept for the first time in his career, and of course, that means the slander has begun. So what's up guys, Mike here, and listen to this by Charles Barkley and the rest of the TNT crew. I try to tell y'all, all these bus riders, they don't mean nothing to me. If you ain't driving the bus, don't walk around and talk about you a champion. All these guys walk around with these championship rings, hey y'all bus riders. Kevin Durant's not on the bus. He's yeah. just not on the bus. What has happened when he was driving the bus? What yeah, was happening when he was driving the bus? He lost to the finals. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, he did. As we just heard, Chuck said that in his career, Kevin Durant never drove the bus. That is to say, Chuck was making the claim that in his career, Kevin Durant might have championships, he might have this, he might have that, but he never was the guy driving the bus on an NBA Finals winning team. To this, KD, of course, had his own reply, but... I have my own reply, and my own reply might surprise a few of you. Sure, Kevin Durant broke every rule of competition, I agree. He not only quit on his team to join the best team in the entire NBA, one that had just won 73 games, and then of course he also joined a team that had just beat him, a cardinal sin in sports. The thing is, in order to really dive into this video, we kind of have to look past that. You might still hate Kevin Durant's decision, and that is fine. To be honest, I don't really love it myself. But we have to look at this from a pure basketball standpoint, and from a pure basketball standpoint, without Kevin Durant on the Golden State Warriors, do they still win the 2017 and 2018 NBA championships? Do they still advance to the 2019 NBA Finals? I mean, those are questions we also have to ask, right? Because Kevin Durant's decision to join Golden State did not just affect himself. It affected the legacies of a lot of players. And so now, let me say this. Why does no one ever talk about the fact, and I say fact, that without Kevin Durant, the Warriors very likely would not have won at least one of the next two championships they won. A big statement, I will give you that, but the statement isn't coming from just anywhere. I would certainly argue that historically as a player, Kevin Durant has been one of the best playoff performers we have seen in this generation of basketball, and he might be number two. Number one, of course, being LeBron James. Now, what is my reasoning for this? Well, it is here where I want to talk about game score, a number that is made up of a player's entire box score performance. Points, rebounds, assists, turnovers, field goals missed and made, everything like that from a box score goes into game score. Here's how Basketball Reference defines it, if I didn't define it well. Game score was created by John Hollinger to give a rough measure of a player's productivity for a single game. The scale is similar to that of points scored. 40 is an outstanding performance, 10 is an average performance, etc. Now, there have only been 57 games in NBA playoff history where a player has recorded recorded a game score of over 40, so I'd say 40 is way, way more rare than they make it seem in this definition, but I will also say that 30 really is a great range to gauge who shines when the lights are the brightest, and it's also a good gauge to see who shrinks. But before we continue, guys, I am very excited to thank Prop Shop for sponsoring today's video. Prop Shop is the industry's first legal all-in-one marketplace for player props. It is an app for player bets. Prop Shop collects and analyzes all relevant data, including odds, statistics, line movements, and more to provide users vital real-time information to ensure users get the best value out of their bets. Prop Shop focuses on individual player bets and not generic team-centric bets. The app has a coins economy where users can bet with coins instead of real money. They also have a very upgraded user experience. Prop Shop uses a Tinder style functionality to help you pick your player bets, adding a more fun element to your experience compared to other platforms. Prop Shop, and this is important guys, also has live bet tracking, a feature that is unique to Prop Shop. You can track any player's performance for free in real time, along with your entire bet slip coupled with win probability percentages. Then we have the progress levels. The more you use Prop Shop, you begin to unlock amazing deposit offers and perks with their partner sportsbooks. And then in terms of the social experience, you're able to check out other winning slips from other people in the sports betting community, you're able to see who's hit big and track individual trends and projections by game. Which means after finishing your bet slip, you just need to press confirm and then you are automatically sent to the best betting partner offering the best value for the bet you've built. With that bet already loaded, the Prop Shop app is free to download and free to use without actually placing a bet. There are no paid for restrictions in the app. And guys, it is the best time to start using Prop Shop because it is the start of the NBA playoffs. And 
so click the link in the description right now and go download prop shop today again guys the link to download prop shop will be in the description down below go check it out they are awesome and for now let's get back into today's video because to us as nba fans isn't that the most important thing end of the day we watch the regular season but we know we're waiting for the playoffs we're waiting for the balls to get rolled out we're waiting for guys to go to war and we're waiting to see who comes out on top and so the players who are putting up the best playoff performances and i find it very interesting that with the alpha dog of each of the most recent nba finals champions i have found a pretty simple fact here and that is that each of these players has at least 10 performances with a 30 game score or more in the playoffs throughout their careers as you can see on the list in front of you there are no exceptions and again lebron is in his own galaxy over there so i may have michael jordan as my personal goat but remember i never disrespect lebron's greatness this is insane as we can also see uh, kevin durant is right there slotted in as number two and would you look at that Kawhi leonard on this list i would actually say Kawhi is the biggest surprise i mean man if you look at that guy's regular season stats and then compare them to his playoff stats you find something very simple and that is he steps up possibly the most out of anyone i mean consider the fact that he has put up this many 30 plus performances and he's also missed plenty of playoff games with injuries definitely impressive but in terms of nba alpha dogs which i'm considering kevin durant and that is what i'm trying to convince you of right now that kd is a playoff alpha dog because when we look at playoff secondary players when we look at the guys like chris middleton drew holiday kyrie irving anthony davis dwayne wade we find another constant theme unless you are an mvp level player yourself cough dwayne wade cough you have not put up 10 playoff games with at least a 30 game score again unless you're dwayne wade who is elite himself who was the alpha dog on the 2006 nba champion miami heat team well on the secondary stars list we find quite a range kyrie irving is third with five anthony davis is second and yes three of his six did come in the bubble but then we find clay only has one draymond only has two middleton has one drew holiday has zero i'm telling you these 30 plus games really are the mark of a true playoff star now you may be wondering out of guys who have not won an nba championship well what does that list look like and i find that list very interesting too because on that list james harden is the one real anomaly he's the one guy who has broken 10 maybe that means he's the one guy who has really gotten the worst luck in his career or maybe that just means he knows how to fill the box score i'm just providing the numbers here but it's interesting russell westbrook has not broken 10 guys like Embiid and Jokic are also not there yet luka has five in 15 games that is i mean potential goat status we have to be on the lookout for that and then as you see guys who never ended up winning nba championships like Melo, at least as of now Melo has under five games i do want to point out chris paul is the ultimate aberration here at 13 but he is still fighting with the phoenix suns this playoff so maybe we'll see here so i really find power in this score of 30 i hope you do too at this point because trust me guys the more and more i look into it the more and more the proof becomes solid but swinging back to kevin durant here what is incredibly impressive about kevin durant is that four of his performances not only came in the nba finals they came in nba finals wins and three of his performances came in the 2017 nba finals specifically that is very important charles barkley can go out there and say that kevin durant never rode the bus he can say that but looking at the 2017 nba finals i mean come on before we continue guys i do want to say if you are enjoying this video it would be awesome if you could subscribe and turn on post notifications we're in the middle of the nba playoffs i make content just like this and we are also on the road to 2 million subscribers it would be awesome if we could hit that in 2022 so if you could subscribe and turn on post notifications that would be much appreciated i hope you're enjoying again and let's get back into this video remember the Cavs had just beaten the warriors in 2016 so to say that a win in the 2017 NBA Finals without Kevin Durant would have been a guarantee should already be considered an absurd statement. I mean, just the year before, the Warriors won 73 games and they still lost to the Cavs. Was this an upset? Definitely. But the point remains, without Kevin Durant, Golden State was hardly guaranteed back-to-back -back NBA Finals wins in 2017 and 2018. And I mean, let's dig into the games here. And as we dig, I can admit, I feel the comments. I know it's hard to look through some 
KD to Warriors hate and to just look at the games that he played on the court. Trust me, guys, I'm a Bulls fan. Do you think I wanted Kevin Durant on the Warriors? I mean, they were just overpowered, but they were overpowered because of Kevin Durant. Just from a basketball perspective, as a basketball fan, there's nothing else really to say other than that. In the 2017 and 2018 NBA Finals, Kevin Durant was phenomenal. Phenomenal. In the 2017 finals in particular, KD would finish with an average game score of 30.3 in five games. 30.3. In his entire NBA career, in the playoffs, John Stockton had a game score over 30 just three times. So the fact that KD averaged over a 30 game score for this entire finals run is just incredible. KD would finish this NBA finals series with averages of 35.2 points, 8.2 rebounds, 5.4 assists, 1. 1.6 blocks and one steal a night, giving Golden State the ultimate weapon they really needed, an actual head-to-head -head match for LeBron James. For real, let's just take a look at the stat comparison between the two in this series. The year before these 2017 NBA Finals, Golden State lost. This season with KD matching LeBron, they won in five games. I mean, I wonder what changed here. And again, KD would have three 30 bombs in four Golden State Warriors Finals wins. For comparison, Steph, who himself comfortably fits into the elite list here with 14 games of over 30, only had one game over 30 in the 2017 NBA Finals. And looking at Steph's numbers compared to Kevin Durant's in those finals, I mean, really, there's just no contest here. We've got to give Kevin Durant his due. Yeah, we might not agree with his decision to join the Warriors, but when he was on the Warriors, he was awesome. And the argument can certainly be made that this was Steph City and Steph's locker room, or Draymond's locker room, but in terms of pure on-the-court production, it was Kevin Durant who was was driving the bus this year in the 2017 finals. It's that simple. Then look at the comparison between KD and Steph next season in another finals win in 2018. And beyond just the stats on screen here, KD had a monster 30 plus game score performance in game three to pick up a struggling Steph who shot three for 16. Then when KD was injured in the next year's finals, the heavily favored Golden State Warriors lost. This isn't a takeaway from Steph at all. If you've been rocking with me, you know I love the boy Steph. I'm just trying to say Kevin Durant, has been amazing. It is not at all a crazy statement to say that NBA history could be very, very different if KD did not go to Golden State. His numbers are there right in front of us. Golden State might not have won either of those titles. They might have won one. They might have won both. But what we do know is that historically, take a look at this. Only 18 players ever have had 10 or more 30 plus game score performances in their playoff careers with KD at fifth all time. I mean, really, this list has it all to me to claim that Kevin Durant suddenly has not been elite in the playoffs before to claim that Kevin Durant is not a bus driver that is just too much the Nets lost one series let's see what happens next season I'm sure Kevin Durant is going to rebound but with that said thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed today's video if you are new to the channel please subscribe and turn on post notifications we're in the middle of the NBA playoffs here and we're also on the road to 2 million subscribers so it would be awesome if you could join us on that road if you're already subscribed thank you so much for supporting you're awesome we all know it and as always have have an awesome day guys and cue that music if you're still here while the music is cued here are two videos i think you are definitely going to enjoy i mean personally i think the one on the left might be more your style but the one on the right looks pretty awesome too click one let me know what you think and again have an awesome day